Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Taurus. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Taurus placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information linked in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Taurus, I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Very quiet shuffle. Very quiet shuffle for you this week. Okay, we have the full card. First card out. Cancer also got the full card as their first card out. So if you're dealing with a cancer, maybe you want to check out that video. Second major arcana, the devil card. Major arcana for Capricorn energy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Have that in your chart. We have the five of cups. We have the two of pentacles. Okay. We have the seven of pentacles. Cancer also got the Seven of Pentacles in their present position. We are also in Taurus season. Happy birthday, Taurus. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Oh, is that your card? Yeah, of course. As I remember that it's your birthday. Final card, Major Arcana, the Hierophant. Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck, Major Arcana. The Death card, some sort of transformation here. For some of you, High Priestess, lots of Majors. The letter B and J could also be important to you. Pisces Cancer energy as well with that High Priestess. So heavy emphasis on Cancer. Maybe Cancer season could be an important time frame for you. But this is some sort of huge transformation here that I think um, you're finally going to go for. <sighs> some Very, very similar to Cancers, but in a different sense. Um, you, Cancer was kind of still in the decision-making process. You know, kind of like... Good things are happening. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting for the collective, right? Good things are starting to happen. But because we've been in this cycle of quote-unquote darkness for so long, now that the light at the tunnels, we're getting closer to it or we're right there, that brightness of it is very, you know, it's, it's jarring. And it's an adjustment period almost is the vibe that I'm getting for the collective. Being in the dark for so long, you get used to it. You forget, you know, your eyes avert to the darkness. But as soon as any sort of light rays hit your pupils, your eyes are going to, you know, squint. You might, you know, you might be very pale. So you're going to have to get color back, all that sort of. So it's like the collective is going through this sort of um, readjustment period right now. They're very pale. OK, their pupils aren't that great. They can't take light very well, but it, we're, we, we're, we're adjusting to, to, to high vibe stuff. And it's kind of like this teeter totter is this vibe that I'm getting because the full card is very free energy going for it you know sort of um knowing that everything that is for you can't miss you and the only way for you to sort of align yourself is to go for it is to step out on faith but with the two of pentacles with that that's going back and forth right like some days you're all with that type of vibe and other days you feel it's like there's a lot of fear fear wins right going back and forth between this is like very much that that um what's it called polarity no duality that's the word one day you're like yeah i got this you know life is good life is great and then the other days it's like nah that i ain't shit this ain't shit nothing's gonna work like that type of negative talk or that type of fear of what if it doesn't happen what if i'm doing all of this for nothing and that's okay that's a whole that's all that's all a part of it right until we come out to the other side which is what i think is gonna happen so if it hasn't happened yet it's gonna happen because this hierophant is High vibration Taurus energy. Taurus absolutely being in their power. Taurus knowing who they are, what it is they stand for, what it is they believe, what it is they're committed to. And this transformation card with it is saying, yeah, there's like a transformation process going on right now. Because the re the, the, I think the realization is going to be that um, you got to choose to go for it. Because this is like FOMO. Cancer also got the Five of Cups. Energy of change with the Five this is like FOMO. This is like needing to change focus, knowing that I'm um, allowing yourself to sort of teeter back and forth between the this this uh, fool card and this this fool energy and this devil energy is is not it's like two steps forward, one step back. And this five of cups is giving me fear of missing out, not wanting to sort of um, miss the good in life because you can't get out of your head. Because the Two of Cups says there's still potential for good for, for good things. But we are very much focused on all the things that didn't go so good, that didn't work out. Not focusing on the potential of things working out. Glass half empty as opposed to glass half full. 
This is like finally choosing a side. So this could be very much about you, because this is the vibe I'm getting. I'm not really seeing much people here. Lots of major arcanas. This is like all self. Changing the focus, because Hierophant is also five. Two fives in your, in your future energy with the death card. Heavy emphasis on change. Changing the perspective. Working harder at maintaining the fool mindset as opposed to the devil mindset. Glass half full as opposed to glass half empty. I told you, five of, the nine of, uh, the eight of cups, sorry. That is walking away from all this emotional baggage. The emotional baggage that keeps you sort of fluctuating between these two sort of energies. This is getting on the path. And look, he's leaving all these cups behind to go and find what? The two of cups that gives him the ten. This is the same two of cups that's not being focused on. Whoever this is, is giving energy to, to the negativity, the lack of possibility, as opposed to the possibility. This is walking away from any sort of uh, experience, all the experiences that kind of put you in this vibe. This emotional roller coaster type of energy. And, uh, you know, strengthening that um, that uh, intuition. You could, all, you could definitely be dealing with someone else here because I am seeing the Hierophant now with this Empress... This, this high priestess, sorry, two very spiritual people. This could also be someone that you are connected to, friend, family member, friend, lover, whoever. You might have already mastered this coming in as a high priestess, or you could definitely still be this Taurus that's kind of on um, the path to getting in complete vibration. Whichever side you're on, though, there is somebody here that's either um, sort of guiding you, you know, your a support system, or you them. Right? One second. Yeah, so here's this lack energy. This is exactly what um I was picking up. Lots of fives here. Five of pentacles, five of cups, and the hierophant is major arcana for five energy. But this is leaving behind the lack. See, now we have six of pentacles. That balance where there was a lack of balance either within oneself. A lot of you, this is either someone that you're dealing with that's kind of going through this back and forth having a hard time sort of embracing possibility and, you know, because they've been in a very dark place for a long time. The Five of Cups, the Five of um, Pentacles. But this is illusionary. This is perspective. Because the Five of Cups generally is like a sense of abandonment, a sense of I don't have. But you can't be abandoned with someone. You can't be abandoned and still be with somebody. So it's all about perspective. And it's like, I don't have, but you're in front of the church. You could just go in the church, the two of you, and then you would have somewhere warm to be with this person. So whatever perspective, it's not it's not real. It's what someone's choosing or maybe has just been autopilot plugging into the lack because that's all they've been experiencing. But this is like choosing something new, choosing something different, seeing the glass half full as opposed to glass half empty. What else is underneath here? Sagittarius energy could be important too. Yeah, time to go. It's time to get going. There's a new path. There's a new uh, way of living available to either you or somebody. Someone's either showing you this or you are showing them this. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Fire energy. There's that creativity. There's that spark. There's that intuition. There's that knowing. There's the confidence. The confidence. Okay. All right. I feel you. Let's see what we got going on for you, Taurus. If this is a romantic situation, guidance for Taurus, please. So Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer energy, Scorpio energy, we have Sag energy, also saw the Queen of Wands, we have Cancer, see there's Cancer. Some of you, Cancer season is very important. Very, very important time frame. Which is not too far from now, right? It's either the season after this one or the following season. Trust, there you go. The situation is calling for you to have faith. That's very much what the Fool is saying. That's why the Fool is the first card out. Strongest energy. We also have flirt and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah. Guidance, please. Retorious. This is all going on within either you or someone that you are connected to. And you are either um, kind of giving this person space to figure their self out because you've already figured it out. You've been there. You get it. Or this is someone allowing you to sort of go through the motions. We have Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive. Yeah. For some of you, it's your ability to connect. Your ability to connect. Your, um, have, you've had bad experiences when it comes to connecting with people, whether friendships or love-wise. 
And this is an opportunity that's going to be presented to you with the Page of Pentacles here. Where, um, you know, you can let your guard down and you can fall into this. But it's the adjustment period. The pupils need to dilate. The pupils need to actually not dilate. They need to close in because if they dilate when you're in the dark, right? The situation will improve. There you go. Reconsider. The pupils need to um, get smaller so it takes in less light. The skin needs to get a little bit of melanin because I hasn't seen any sun in a bit. This is just the adjustment period for this, for you or this person. But uh, the realization will be had. Someone will get back to their old self. For some of you, you'll get back to yourself. Moving. Change or of residence. Moving in with your partner. That could also be what that's about. Someone's afraid to sort of get serious. Someone's afraid to fully invest because it didn't go good. But this is like telling your mind to shut up. <laughs> shut up, mind. Shut up. Because <laughs> that's that devil. That's that fear. <clears throat> Keeping you in the loop to loop. And please, for Taurus. And for Taurus, please. Luck is on your side. 77, new moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius season could be very much important time frame too. But this is saying go for it. Luck is on your side. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. There's that Scorpio energy and there's that devil energy combined. Work through your fears. Because it's definitely fears that's keeping you in this sort of um, it's not going to work energy. Time for healing. I'd say so. Amen to that. Okay, let's get you one of these. Oh, I did. What else do we got? This one? Okay. Yep. That about sums it up. Luck is on your side. This is saying the, 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 the tunnel phase is over. Now you gotta reassimilate yourself back to society. <laughs> gotta come out of the you gotta you gotta come on out. Get those pupils uh shrunken. Get a little metal in back. Get a little, get a little color to you. Captains, please. It's like being in the wild for so long. It's like Tarzan, right? They had to like assimilate him, express free will. My choices determine how bright I shine. It's so funny, we're talking about the light and being it being too bright for your eyes, right? My choices determine how brightly I shine. And uncovering confidence, yeah. I am the missing piece that completes the puzzles of the universe. Uncovering confidence, there's that confidence. In self again. That's so cute. I love when it all comes together. You know? Oh, I love when it all meshes. Guidance, please. For Taurus. Thank you. There's the tunnel energy again. Cancer also got the tunnel energy a lot. And they also got cards that confirm this tunnel energy. See? She, she came out the tunnel. She's been in there for a long time. See that? The sun? It's like she hasn't felt breeze in a long time. It's like she should just take a minute to just... Like, you know, the nerves all got to start working again. Breaking the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. So heavy emphasis on healing. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? This is all about uh, intuition. Not seeing with the eyes, but seeing with, uh, you know, the soul. And no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. Some of you, that's for some of you. <laughs> And the in initiation, rite of passage. Cancer also got that card. See, heavy emphasis on coming out of the, the darkness. They're definitely for the collective that has been in a dark uh, dark period. Okay. That, that, that scaredness, it's not because the person's hideous or they're here to hurt you. It's just you assimilating because you're not used to good things. And it's a real thing. You're not used to good things. You're not used to things going your way. So your body's got to get used to that. It might seem a little even boring, but it's not boring. It's called peace. People don't realize how boring peace is. It's funny because that actually is relevant to me, but people don't realize how boring peace is. Peace can be very boring, but that's because we're so used to chaos, right? Taurus, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.